Challenge time. So we are going to do the challenge for customize how records get approved with approvals. First off, I'm going to head up and go to my trailhead playground, hands on orgs, and pop this up. Actually, this has to go back. Go back to my challenge. And let's do this. So first, verify that the account object type account objects type field has the following picklist value prospect customer and pending let's go there so the account object would be under gear icon and set up and object and account fields type What do we have now? Let's see. We have prospect, we have customer, there's a few customer, and we don't have the other one, which is pending, all right? So let's fix that. I'm going to add a new one, pending for everybody and save. And I am going to deactivate all the other stuff deactivate okay continue that is a bit weird so i'm going to go back to fields and relationships here and type deactivate this okay deactivate that okay deactivate that okay deactivate that okay Deactivate that. Okay, so we have prospect pending and one more customer. I'm just going to make a new one. Customer. So prospect pending customer. All right. So that's done. This is done. Next, use the jumpstart wizard to create a new approval process for the account object jump start wizard so we are going to home approval process so now make sure you change that to the account object all right so that has to be the account object so now create a new approval process use the jump start wizard so what is the name again let's copy and paste um, the approval process must be approved new account copy that that's wrong there approve new account and an email template can be anything now the criteria are met what criteria first account type equals prospect and employee must be greater than 500 okay account type equals prospect pack and then employee account employee e is greater than 500 okay that's the criteria and then who is the approver as the trailhead says the approver would be Choose automatically assign to approver and assign yourself. So automatically assign yourself, Jimmy. And then save. Okay, it has to be activated first. That's fine. And I'm going to view approval process. So next is here. 
initial submission, field update, account type to pending. Okay, so the name must be this. I'm gonna copy that. Initial submission, right? At ex at new field update field to update account type to pending. Okay, save. That's done. Next, the final approval actions field update field to customer. Okay. That's the final approval. So approval steps, final approval action here. Add new, field update, the name must be that. So the account type T has to be a customer. Save. The final approval actions edit the record lock action to unlock the record for the final approval so here lock the record from being edited we edit that to unlock the record so it's unlock okay final rejection account type change to prospect okay final rejection rejection here okay add new field update I'm going to copy the name. It has to be exactly the same. Fail to update account type. Back to prospect. Rejected. Denied. Activate the approval process. So don't forget to activate it. Boom. Okay, looks good. Let's do the score and grab 500 and a shiny new badge. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. 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 Woo You've got a shiny new badge on your profile. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.